Welcome to video lessons at Master IELTS Online. In this video you're going to learn how to write introductions to different Task 2 essays. If you're still not familiar with different types of Task 2 essays, we recommend you to watch our video related to the essay types. Click the link above. First of all, here are some important points you should know about writing an introduction. Your introduction should act as a roadmap to your essay. When the examiner reads your introduction, he should know what the rest of your essay will look like. Besides, your introduction shouldn't be too long. To be precise, there shouldn't be more than 3-4 sentences. And make sure you don't make your introduction too specific. It should have the general idea of what your supporting paragraphs are going to be about. So in the introduction, you don't give examples or detailed explanations to your point. Now we're going to learn how to write introductions for arguments essays, discussion essays, reason and solution essays, and two question essays. So first, let us focus on how to write an introduction to an argument essay. When we write an introduction to an argument essay, there should be at least three sentences in your introduction. The background sentence, which simply says something general about the topic given in the essay question. It does not state any opinion about the essay question. Usually, something general about the topic is mentioned. We can paraphrase the topic sentence of the question itself. Detail background sentence is the second sentence in our introduction paragraph. It is a more detailed background statement, so in this sentence you would probably want to include some information about the viewpoint. Thesis is the most important sentence in your entire essay because it answers the essay question directly. In the case of our essay question, we are being asked if we agree or disagree. In thesis, you should say clearly whether you agree or disagree. Look at the essay question below and see how to write an introduction to it. In some societies, the amount of crime committed by teenagers is growing. Some people think that regardless of age, teenagers who commit major crimes should receive adult punishment. Do you agree? or disagree. Before writing the introduction, try to understand the question clearly and remember that every essay question consists of a topic, viewpoint and a specific question or questions. With the given essay question, the topic is crime committed by teenagers. The viewpoint is regardless of age, teenagers who commit major crimes should receive adult punishments. Specific question is do you agree or disagree? So after analysing the question, we could write the introduction the following way. Background sentence. In recent years, the crime rate among adolescents has been increasing at a prolific rate. Detailed background sentence. There is a view that if teenagers commit severe offences, they should receive adult punishment. Thesis. Personally, I strongly disagree with this opinion and this essay will support my view. So the complete introduction should look the following. In recent years, the crime rate among adolescents has been increasing at a prolific rate. There is a view that if teenagers commit severe offences, they should receive adult punishment. Personally, I strongly disagree with this opinion and this essay will support my view. As you can see in the background sentence, the writer has paraphrased the statement from the question and it reflects the topic which is the growth of crime committed by teenagers. In the detailed background sentence, the writer has mentioned the viewpoint from the question, which is, there is a view that if teenagers commit severe offences, they should receive adult punishment. Finally, in the thesis, the writer has clearly stated his opinion. Failing to write your opinion in an argument essay can make you lose marks heavily, so always make sure you have given your opinion. Now let us look at the example of writing an introduction to discussion essays. While writing introduction for discussion essays, you can follow the given formula. Background sentence. Statement of points of view to be analysed. Outline sentence. As you can see, when you write discussion essays, there is no thesis, which means you don't have to give your opinion in the introduction. Let's look at a discussion essay question and an example of an introduction. Some believe that the money spent in space research has brought enormous benefits to mankind. Yet others are in the view that this money could be spent on more needful sectors. 
discuss both these views and give your opinion. So the introduction should be as follows. Background sentence. The investment in space exploration has become a debatable topic nowadays. Statements have points of view to be analyzed. Some believe that mankind has benefited immensely by exploring the space, while others hold the view that such a large amount of money should be invested in sectors of higher priority. Outline sentence. Both sides of this argument will be analyzed before a recent conclusion is drawn. The complete introduction should be as follows. The investment in space exploration has become a debatable topic nowadays. Some believe that mankind has benefited immensely by exploring the space, while others hold the view that such a large amount of money should be invested in sectors of higher priority. Both sides of this argument will be analyzed before a recent conclusion is drawn. As you can see, the topic sentence reflects the topic of the question, which is the money spent on space research. The writer has paraphrased this into investment in space research. After the background sentence, the writer has written the two statements that will be analyzed and in the outline sentence has stated that both views will be discussed and a conclusion will be given. Now let us look at how to write an introduction to reason solution essays. We can use the following structure to write the introduction. Background sentence, detailed background sentence and outline sentence, which shows the purpose of the essay. Well, let's look at an essay question and an introduction related to the question. These days, in many countries, fewer and fewer people want to become teachers, particularly in secondary schools. What are the reasons of that? And how could the problem be solved? A generation ago, teaching in a high school was considered an extremely well-respected and popular job. And in some countries, this is still true. However, in many countries of the world, there has been a sharp drop in the number of young people who want to become high school teachers. This essay will look at the reasons of that trend and propose some solutions. As you can see, the background sentence relates to the topic which is teaching. And then, in the detailed background sentence, the writer introduces the problem stating that there is a sharp drop in the number of young people who want to become high school teachers. Finally, in the outline sentence, he has stated the purpose of the essay, which is to discuss the reasons of that problem and suggest solutions. Remember, in a reason-solution essay, you don't have to give your opinion, because the task doesn't ask you to do it. Finally, we are going to look at how to write an introduction for two question essays. What is very important here is that the introduction must address both questions. Many crimes are often related to the consumption of alcohol. Some people think that the best way to reduce the crime rate is to ban alcohol. Do you think this is an effective measure against crime? What other solutions can you suggest? So as you can see in the above essay question, the topic is crime related to alcohol consumption. The viewpoint is, some people think that the best way to reduce crime rate is to ban alcohol. And as you can see, there are two questions. Do you think this is an effective measure against crime? And what other solutions can you suggest? So the introduction for the essay question could be structured the following way. Background sentence. Drinking alcohol is not considered to be unacceptable in the modern society and leads to many criminal activities and violence. Statement of point of view. There is a view that prohibiting alcohol is the most effective measure to diminish crime rate. Basis. Even though some may consider it as a forceful measure, I am strongly in support of this. Outline sentence. In this essay, I will support my view and put forward alternative solutions to overcome this issue. So the complete introduction should be as follows. Drinking alcohol is not considered to be unacceptable in the modern society and leads to many criminal activities and violence. There is a view that prohibiting alcohol is the most effective measure to diminish crime rate. Even though some may consider it as a forceful measure, I am strongly in support of this. In this essay, I will support my view and put forward alternative solutions to overcome this issue. Pay attention to how the writer has paraphrased and as you can see, since the question has asked the opinion, 
whether it's an effective measure, he has clearly stated it. Well, we hope this video would help you to write better introductions. Please press like if you found this video useful and subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos. Master Else Online – Effective Preparation for a Higher Score